So reports are now surfacing in relation to what the police are doing with this case and what could happen to Tory or what could not happen. Hey guys, it's Murad Murad. I hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, click that button guys for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali. Just uploaded a new picture. Head over there if you guys wish to. And let's just get straight into this video. So there has been an update. Sources are exclusively informing page six about what is going on with this case. And it looks like Tory might not really face any consequences at all. It's been a two months since Tory, two months, you know, two months since Tory allegedly did what he did to Megan. And insiders are now concerned that the LUV rapper has not yet been charged over the incident and probably won't be charged at all. This case is open and shut, and I'm very concerned that we're still lingering, that this case is open and shut, sorry, and I'm still concerned that we're still lingering here. A source exclusively told page six, it's not being treated with the same level of resources and focus as if it was with a white college student. Interesting, but not surprising. Sources tell us the LA District Attorney's Office has been given all of the evidence believed necessary to move forward with the case, including witness statements, text messages, and 911 call, video, and medical records. The medical records were told prove that Megan was shot because the documents state that she suffered gunshot wounds on the night of the attack. Initial media reports stated the cut her foot with glass. Oh, interesting. Okay, cool. This is not in dispute, the insider said. Megan initially did not name Tory, but sources exclusively real to page six in July that Tory Lane 28 definitely was the person who allegedly shot her. Megan wasn't going to name names. She wasn't going to go there. She wasn't planning on talking to the police, the source says. She was protecting herself. People in her camp and in Tory's camp shut everyone down so fast you could barely blink. But there were lies that were being spread and she wasn't going to stand for it. Yes, Tory shot me, she said, she claimed in the video. And you got your publicists and your people going to the blogs, lying, etc., etc., which we've already spoken about. We have to, have to go over again. We're told Megan's public claims and Lane's indirect comments in the press have all become part of the LADA's files. Interesting. So perhaps it wasn't, you know, ideally she probably shouldn't have spoken up about it because it can work against her. The case is proceeding. It's just not proceeding with the same urgency as I think it could, this insider says. It's completely reckless, in my opinion, to delay. There's risks involved if you don't do something. Absolutely. And interesting. He's only been charged with possession. That's all Tory has been charged for. Um, so it seems like the, everybody working on this case, they don't really care for it. They're not doing it with such urgency as if they would if their response was white or i.e. in this case people are comparing it to Kylie Jenner which we said many times but this particular report from these insiders that are being reported via page six are basically highlighting the lack of urgency the lack of care preparation for this specific case and that alluding to the fact that it's likely that Tory could just completely go and not be charged with what he did to Megan at all because they don't really care for Megan like that. And we've seen several cases like this where there's not real any urgency but simply because of the color of your skin or even your gender and even both combined together. And it's disgusting, it's sad and it's horrific. But this is another update that was exclusively, you know, found via page six. And it was, you know, going around online today. I thought I'd get into it and give you guys a quick little update in reference to this. But um, yeah, I guess we're now hearing from how corrupt the police forces. But I'll be really surprised, especially in the US, it's an absolute mess. Especially in the UK, it's an absolute mess. Let me know your thoughts out, guys. Subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.